Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great time. So today I'm here with another exciting opportunity which is an internship and it is an internship in, in one of the leading universities in Pakistan. So if you guys want to uh, like visit Pakistan or to like see Pakistani culture, Pakistani university and to do your internship in uh, top ranked Pakistan university so this is the perfect opportunity for you so before starting this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly go check out different videos I have uploaded if you find many interesting things for yourself and uh, <coughs> you'll love it so if you guys want to join us on facebook you guys can join us on facebook and if you guys want to join us on a whatsapp group then the link of that group will be given in the description below so talking about this uh, scholarship this is not, not kind of fully funded um, internship so there is some things i want you to consider as i said host university is pakistan host university is the national university of science and technology top leading universities in pakistan in Asia so internship starting date is July 6th and internship fees almost all of the fields are available from as you can see different fields okay but well, as I said ranked among the 400 universities worldwide top 100 universities in Asia and ranked number one in, in employers reputation qs graduate employability ranking 2020 state of the art labs workshop studios located in the here of capital islamabad internship benefits free boarding and lodging free transportation on off campus industrial visits free credential visits research active faculty students of all nationalities can apply so how to get an internship in NUST so this is the easy way you just need to click on this red button and this link will open up for you as you can see this is like a photo of recent internees from last year in Pakistan and <coughs> so the procedure is really simple you don't need to worry about that it's like you just need to first of all uh, uh, sign up and after signing up you just need to create, uh, create an account here and uh, putting your details right here and after putting your details you will get a confirmation email after getting the confirmation email you will get a you would be able to uh, Mm, process your application and login so when you got login and this will start from personal information and uh, this personal information contact details educational background research the details documents declarations preview so this is basically I am not able to go back to one of these things but I can assure you that that uh, these uh, starting from personal information they only had uh, requirements from your name details address country that's it and in contact details they were talking about your uh, phone number email and uh, all the other things you don't need to worry about that in educational background they are talking about uh, your education um, what semesters you are into what you want to apply for and what you want to apply for that's in the research details and there are three recommend uh, three uh, you can consider three uh, like from starting from your first priority then second and third and after doing that you just need to upload your some of these documents and then going for save and next and when you go to save and next uh, do you required this and that just right uh, I'm writing something so that I can show you <coughs> how things went so yeah this is I was talking about this is the personal information first name last name age gender citizenship email address and uh, level of education university name country okay this scholarship is not for Pakistani students okay this is only for international students in the research I just chose whatever came in front of me and after that you just need to simply click on submit and 
that's it there is no um, I would say like uh, application fees or anything else it, it's simple simple procedure you guys can apply and can have a great time here in Pakistan so and one another thing I want you to consider that if you require this university recommendation letter for visa processing so do definitely click on yes I had some um, problems uh, people showing me that they just uh, ignored this question and then the university was not providing them recommendation letters so they were having difficulties while processing their visa so do remember this as well so thank you so much for watching my video guys if you guys have any questions difficulties you can contact me in the comment sections below thank you and a lot of <clears throat>